Hey guys, we're back. And it's all finished. Thunderbirds are go. Our atomic airliner. Mark 6, according to the box. Fire flash is all done, as are the elevator cars. What a, what a bunch of fun that was. And just to uh, remind everybody, this is one, th one 350th scale. And that's a U.S. quarter. And the uh, plane came out really well. It was a really nice kit. There's only two, two issues I had with the entire kit. One, the decals were a little thick, but workable. And two, which I don't know why they did it, they attached the sprue for the clear parts for the wing, the wing lounges. The sprue attached right in the middle of the window pane. Not on a frame on either side of it, but right in the middle of the of the glass, so we had to do a little work to get get that big knot out of there, but everything came out all right. I'll get up and I'll spin it around a little bit for you. Try to keep it in frame. Try to keep it on the stand. There's a little bit, another one. Adjust my lighting here a little bit. Yeah, it's still a little dark. We'll go this way. Yeah, I'll move it. There you go. That's better. Yeah, the uh, sprue attached right in the middle of this center window. Why they would do that, I don't know. But they did. They didn't do it on the cockpit. But yeah, so that and the, the thick decals were the only problems I had at all with this kit. And it just went together like a dream, the actual, the actual kit itself. Now give me one second here and I will set it up for the landing scene. Be right back. And we're back. If you haven't, haven't watched the episode, Trapped in the Sky, Thunderbird Season 1, Episode 1, you should watch it. It's free on YouTube. It's really kind of neat. And you get to see the fire flash in action, as well as the elevator cars here. And you've got uh, the control car, number one. Number two is back here. Number three, over here, actually crashes and explodes on the first landing attempt. And so then you, they bring out car number four for the second landing attempt, which was successful. And, uh, they couldn't land because, with their wheels down, because there was a bomb in the landing gear set to go off on impact. So what they did, they brought out the elevator cars and they actually landed the plane on top of the cars. In just one second here, I'll be right back and have that set up for you. So here's how it landed on top of the cars. And actually during during the second landing, the tires blew out and car number one skidded out from underneath. And it actually came to rest down on our nose like that. But everybody made it. Of course they did. It was always a happy ending. But we'll put it back in all of its glory here. Find my hands here. Let's see if I can mix up the line a little better. Just this little bit. Got a backdrop back there so you don't have to see my dirty, dirty blinds. So there it is, folks. The Thunderbird Atomic Airliner Mark 6 
fire fly ash. There'll be a slideshow coming up at, at the end of this. Plus there's one more little quick shot of, the, of it outside in the sunlight. Hope you enjoyed watching the videos. Following a build thread on the SFMA Big Spring Build Contest forum. And enjoy the pictures in the slideshow afterwards. And until next time, keep modeling. We'll see you then. Peace, I'm out of here. Hey guys, the sun is shining, the birds are singing, and the fire flash is finished. I'm not sure how well you can hear me on this camera, but I'll shoot some more with the other one later for a little high resolution. But just a quick.